Hi, Jerry here. For today's tutorial, we're going to create program with a simple input and output statement. So this will be our following objectives. We're going to define use variables, uh, generate output and accept input with concatenate string and numbers and we format our output with commas and decimal values. We launch our Eclipse. Again, we select the workspace. So here you could see our previous program. Okay. Let us adjust this and we include line numbers so we could easily trace the errors on which line the error the error occur. <coughs> so we go on window, check references, click general, we go on appearance. No, uh, we go on editor, we click text editor, and we include line numbers. Click OK. So we have our line number. So this would be our problem. We're going to design a Java program with the name name and age that accepts name and age entry and you will output it at the end of the program. So this would be our sample interaction. We enter name, we enter age, and we display the name, and we display the age. So we select our Java program. We expand this one. We still click the Java package. We click File, New, Class. Let us type the name of our program. Click Finish. We have discussed so far how to name our identifiers or variables that we may use on our program. Now we're ready to work on our another program. Okay. The name of the program is name and age. As we follow the pattern set on our first sets of Java program, we will have the following code as our starter format. Next, we will prompt the user to enter name. Thus, we will have to set text on where the user will type in the name. On this case, we have used system system.out.print because we want our cursor, the blinking prompt that awaits input, to be after the name text. To make our cursor awaits user to input name, we will use a special Java class program that does this. The scanner class. In order to use the scanner class, we need to include or import this piece of code from the start of our program. To do this, we type import. To make use of what we have included on our program, we need to declare it with the following code. Okay. 
we instantiate an object name input. So this is programmer defined as a container that will handle all our input activities on this program. System.in signifies that scanner will await input from the prompt. As you will notice on the above two lines of the code, okay, all statements are terminated by semicolon. Java statement must be terminated by this symbol. Next, we declare a container name that will store any name entered by user. Take note that the name is declared as a string data type. Now, to prompt the user to enter name, we use our identifier variable name to store whatever the user enters. The input next input dot next line suddenly pauses the cursor and accepts anything that is typed in before hitting the enter key. Whatever entered on that line will be stored or placed on the variable name. We do that same on age. Okay. We declare first a variable age as integer on the upper part of the program along with the input and name. Input dot next int was used because the data type of age is an integer. The line converts any number into an integer value. Next, we are ready to display whatever entries the user typed in on the prompt. We use the following lines. We use the first system.out.println as a command to advance one line as a separator for the output lines. As you notice, we have used system.out.println instead of system.out.print. What does this thing denote? The cursor, the cursor will proceed to the next line after printing the output enclosed within the parentheses. The literal output your name is is enclosed with double quotes and is concatenated by the plus symbol with whatever value the name has on its content. Same is true for displaying the output for age. We have age concatenated with the literals you are and years old. Take note that age is not enclosed with double quotes. It means that the word age is not displayed literally but by whatever value it has on its content. Let us save our program and run this one. So we enter our name, or we enter the name, John, we type in the age, and we have our output. 